Sego, I'm Louis Jacobs. Several performers from Aquazasna had the opportunity to travel to Quebec City last year to work on a TV series inspired by the work of Pulitzer Prize winning author Annie Prue. Her latest novel, Barkskins, has been made into a TV series and will premiere next month. Barkskins is an epic story following the forestry industry and spans over 300 years and begins in Canada in the late 1600s. Recently, I had the chance to speak with two of the performers, Stephen Thompson Oakes and Presley Tarbell, who spoke with ATV about their experience. Let's take a look. So the first question I wanted to uh, ask was about your previous experience. I know you've done some other things uh, uh, on screen. So can you talk about those experiences, what they were like, and how they compared to your time on the set of Barkskins? Well, Jamestown in 2017, 2018, I was a part of the PBS Jamestown, which is a series about, kind of like Barkskins, but based on the 1600s, late 1600s, when the first European explorers came down to explore the lands. So Jamestown was what prepared me for last year's series of Barkskins. So it got me used to set life, just being on set, how production works, how hair and makeup works, just the whole experience in general just prepared me for everything um, bark skins in Quebec City. Was the experience with bark skins good or, you know, in terms of the way they handle background people and stuff? Well, bark skins was amazing. It was a whole experience on its own. Not only to, I got to work with some amazing people, indigenous actors like uh, Dale Horn from Gunnawagish, talented actress, then Zahn McLaren. He's an idol of mine right next to West Studi. So that was, it was an honor to work alongside and just to see how he worked. Right. Yeah. Okay. And, and finally, would you recommend uh, to folks in our community to take this kind of, uh, take advantage of this opportunity if it, if it came about? For sure. Because uh, why not? Go after your dreams, chase them. And after this uh, quarantine or pause, whatever you want to call it, I can't wait to get back out there and start working on sets again. I miss being on the sets. <laughs> right. Awesome. Well, thanks for talking to us, Stephen. We really look forward to seeing the show in May, and uh, you have a good day. Thank you so much for having me, guys. Sego Presley, thanks for talking with us today. Hey. So this was your first uh, time on a TV set, right? Yeah. Yeah, how was that experience up in Quebec City? Oh, it was great being able to see how TV sets work and the process of getting everyone ready and ready to cast, I guess. Now, I heard through the grapevine that maybe you were the youngest person on the set. Is that true? Yeah, they told me that I was the youngest when I got there. What was the process like for you guys getting into hair and makeup and costume? Uh, we started at like two in the morning and they brought us to the site and we'd sit in a tent and just wait for them to bring us in and they'd cut our hair every day we went in there and it was to the skin every time and our mohawks were crooked to make it look like they cut it in the 1600s and right. our clothes were made out of leather and like fur and skin and stuff. Is it something that you would do again Presley? Yeah, I definitely would. It was well paid and it was just fun seeing everything like laid out like that in front of me and it was fun seeing everyone and just being a part of it. And are you looking forward to seeing the series when it airs? Yeah, I'm really excited about that actually. May 25th, yeah. you guys better tune in. <laughs> Great. Well, thanks for talking with us, Presley. We appreciate it. And we'll be watching you on Bark Skins on May 25th. All right. Thanks for having me. How about that? Sounds good, right? So for a chance to see these local performers, make sure you tune in to Bark Skins, which premieres on the National Geographic Channel on May 25th. For Aquazasni TV, I'm Louis Jacobs. Yo, honey, yo, honey, yo, honey, yo, honey.